hello everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can connect a custom domain to your blogger website so as you can see that i have already created a videos on how to start a free website in blogger but here you will get free subdomain from blogger that is blogspot.com now you want to use a custom subdomain so you can either purchase this domain from hosting or godaddy or any other platform and you have to connect that domain to your blogger platform so let me just go to the blogger dashboard and let me show you the process step by step so for this all i have to do is create a new website so i will click on new blog here and i will enter my domain name so let me copy my domain name from here and I will paste it here and you can set the title to PhD skills or your website name here let me find for a address here let me remove that As you can see this is not available so let me choose any random number here now this is available let's click on save here so this address doesn't matter as we are connecting our custom domain so let's click on save as you can see that it is phd skills one to one dot blogspot dot com so we need to change it with our custom domain which is the phd skills dot com so for this i will go to the dashboard and click on settings and here you will see an option custom domain so just click on here now you need to enter your domain name phd skills dot com and if you click on save then it will say that you have to use a top level domain like www or you can use a subdomain like blog.phdspill.com or shop.phdskills.com or courses.phdskills.com so either you can use www or you can use subdomain as well so we need to use www which is a popular subdomain also so this is a top level domain so let's click on save now it will give you some C name record that you need to add to your DNS manager. So if you are using GoDaddy, then you need to go to your domain and go to your DNS settings. And if you are using hosting or then also you will see this option DNS option. And here you need to add the record. So let me copy the first C name that is www. So I will click on type and I will add the C name. And in the name field, I will type www and in the target field i can copy this ghs.google.com and i will paste it here and i will click on add record and you can also delete any existing record so i don't need this record anymore so i can delete this record so i can keep only this www that is the c name here and the content is ghs.google.com so this is same for each of the blogger website and then you have your unique name so make sure to copy this c name in a notepad file so in case if you want to reconnect your subdomain to blogger then this will help you let's click on here so you need to copy the second c name and let's click on c name here and let's paste it here now let's copy it from here and i will paste it here and I will click on add record all right we have added both C name we can also add IP address as well so let's click on support page link here and here you will get the instruction for adding this custom domain so you can also add this IP address so that it will redirect from phdskills.com to www.phdskills.com so for this you need to add this 4a record so let's add that as well so let me copy the first record from here and i will click on a record and i will click on here and let's click on add record now let's add the second one so here as you notice that the it is 32 34 36 and 38 and rest is same so let's change this to 34 let's click on add record here and let's click on confirm now let's click on 36 and let's add 38 
All right, we have four A records that points to this IP address 216.239.32.21 and then 34, 36 and 38. So these IP address are same for all blogger website. This is unique for every domain and this is same for all blogger website. All right, we have added the records. Now let's go to the blogger settings and let's click on save and let's wait for it to save the settings. And as you can see that it is now saved and if this is not saving then you need to wait for some time and you can do it again. So as you can see that our custom domain is connected. Now you need to enable this option redirect domain so that it will redirect phdskills.com to www.phdskills.com. Now you need to enable SSL certificate as well. So let me click on view block here. And as you can see that it is not working that is because the SSL certificate is not added here. So for this I will enable this option HTTPS availability. Now it will install a SSL certificate to your domain and it will open in HTTPS colon and forward slash and you will see the domain name phd, www.phdskills.com. So HTTPS is um, required for every website now and this currently a ranking factor as well so you make sure to install SSLs in, in each of your website so this blogger platform will install SSL certificate automatically you just need to enable these two options after you enable this option you need to wait for some time and after that your blog will be connected and you have successfully connected a subdomain to your blogger website so let's wait for some time and as you can see that instead of giving us 404 error now it is saying that this site can be reached and it is unexpected closed connection so this happens because the name server propagation takes time or the dns record change takes time so as you have added this c name record so this will reflect to all of the domain registrar and all of the domain registry so it will take some time to propagate in every country and after that your website will be live so we can check that as well so we can check dns propagation let's search for it and here you will find this website let's click on it and here you need to enter your domain name so let me quickly do that and let's click on search and it is tick mark here and it has not propagated in Brazil or Mexico and some parts of USA so it will take some time for the DNS propagation to complete we can also check for CNAME as well let's search for it and as you can see that the CNAME is not propagated yet and the CNAME propagation takes some time so it may take up to 1 hour or 2 hour and in some cases it may take up to 24 hours as well. So we need to wait for that after that you will see that your website will be live. So let's wait for it and after that we can check if it is connected or not. One hour later. Alright I am back after 1 hour and let's revalidate it. So here let me put www dot phdskills.com and here in the drop down I will select the C name here and let's click on search and as you can see that there is tick mark in all of the place only the Russia is left here so okay let's leave it and let's check the website here so I will go to PhD skills and I will click on view block here and as you can see that our custom domain is now connected to our blogger website so you can also go to here let's refresh it all right it is working fine so let's change our theme so i will go to theme here and i can use any of the theme or i can use a custom theme in my website so for now let me apply this theme let's go to the website and let's refresh this page all right as you can see that our theme is applied so this is how you can connect custom domain in your blogger website and i have already created videos regarding how to change theme how to customize it 
एंड हाउ टू डिज़ाइन डिफरेंट सेक्शंस हाउ टू क्रिएट अबाउट अस पेज कॉन्टैक्ट अस पेज और हाउ टू एड साइट मैप टू योर ब्लॉगर वेबसाइट सो दे आर आर वेरियस वीडियोज यू विल फाइंड इन आवर चैनल सो मेक्स योर टू चेक आउट दैट एज वेल एंड इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल देन मेक्स योर टू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस देन यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन बाय